Hello friends, welcome to Amazon Webcast and in this video demonstration we are going to see how to configure DFS namespace in Windows Server 2012. So in previous video we already learned the steps to install the DFS in Windows Server 2012 and in this video demonstration we will learn about the DFS namespace. So let's open the DFS uh, management tool, click on tool, select DFS management and this is a console where, from where you can manage your DFS structure. To create a new namespace, just right click on it and select new namespace. In the namespace server console, click on browse and uh, select the server which are going to host this DFS namespace. In our case, it will be srtfmdc01, that is our domain controller. Click on next. In the namespace name and setting console, assign the name and we will define uh, public DFS. Click on edit settings and uh, browse the local path uh, of the folder to share in a namespace. Even you can change the permission of the share folder. Uh, you can also select use custom permission. You can over here you can specify the custom permission as per your requirement. For this demonstration, I'm going with uh, all users have a read only permissions. And I'm going to change the path from C drive to E drive. So as you are seeing, I have a E drive and under that I do not have any folder. So it will be the path of this uh, namespace. This will be the path of this namespace. E slash DFS root slash public DFS. Click on OK. Click on Next. In the namespace type console, it provides us the details for both domain-based namespace and standalone namespace. Domain-based namespace is stored in inside the Active Directory and provides more scalability as it can be load balanced with other domain servers. However, standalone namespace is stored on a single namespace server. So click on next and here we can review all the selected settings for the new namespace. If you want to change any selected settings then click on previous pattern. Namespace names will user will browse to uh, access all the DFS uh, manage share folder is uh, double slash my local slash public DFS and click on create to create the DFS namespace. In the confirmation console, we get the confirmation that the new namespace has been created successfully. Click on close to close the wizard. And uh, once the namespace is created, the next step is to add the link of share folder hosted on other server. To add this folder, right click on the UNC link that is uh, UNC path, marble local slash public DFS and select new folder. Uh, define the name, let's specify docs and this is the preview of namespace so it will be look like uh, unc path my local slash public dfs and slash docs and uh, click on add to add the unc path and for this uh, i can also specify the uh, unc path manually like uh, our share folder is on fs01 slash docs and you can also click on browse and uh, from the server here's your work if you do not know the name of your server, you can uh, check and in my case, the name of the server is srtf1f01, click on OK and there you can find the share folder, in my case it's a docs and click on OK and click on OK. So this will be the path of the share folder, click on OK and that's it. So to verify the namespace through domain name. Let's go back on our client computer, login as a JSONY and UNC path mylab.local and here's our uh, DFS, public DFS, double click on it and here we can find the uh, docs, okay. And this is the our server. But I create a original share folder and let's create a one uh, sample text file. Let's save it. And on client computer, as you can see, we have a file and user can read it. This will also link to all share folders that we added to the namespace. And by using this UNC pass, user can access all the share folders and they don't have to go to the individual computer to access the share folders. See, similarly user can also access the share folder by going to SRT hyphen FS01. But by using DFS, we can organize the, all the share folder under one common name and that is the main benefits of DFS server. So that's it for this demonstrations. 
Uh, thanks for watching this video.